Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Happy to see you here. Really interesting problem today. We need to find integer solution right here, x, y, and that. We need to find our solution. But before this, I want to ask you to, to subscribe to my channel, put your likes right here, and write any comment. It helps me a lot, and I want to say thank you for those who do that. It really inspires me, and I see that my content is, is good for you, or you enjoy it. Thank you, and let's go to solve it. So first of all, I want to write a really interesting start. I want to write that, that we suppose that right here x is greater or equal than y and y is greater than or equal or zero. Let's suppose it. Doesn't matter, but let's let's suppose this. We will, of course, we'll find our answer. Doesn't matter without these inequalities, but let's suppose it. And right now I want to factor in a factor from here at 3 to the power z. So let's do this 3 to the power z I want to factor. So in this element we have 3 to the power x minus z, I just factor it, 3 to the power x minus z, and plus 3 to the power y minus z, we factor in it, so we need to subtract this power from this, from this, uh, from this power inside parentheses, and plus 1, so I just factor 3 to the power z. But on the right hand side, I want to start with this really interesting, really interesting moment, we have 8, 3, 7, we can easily simplify this number or like not simplify but write it in another way take a look closely i know that this number can be divided by three because we have the sum of this number divided by three if we divide it by three we have two seven nine if we divide it by three we have 93 if we divide it by three we have 31 so this eight eight hundred thirty seven can be written as in that way we can write this number as three 3 cube times 31. So we can write this 3 cubed as times 31. And right now I want to mention really interesting, really interesting moment right now. We have this number, which signals us that right here maybe we'll have even odd number, we don't know about it. But right here we have 3 to the power z and we have 3 to the thumb power in this way. So one and only case that this equation works is when 3 to the power z equal to 3 cube. So 3 to the power z equal to 3 cube, which give us the first answer. So z equal to 3. So I hope you understand this step. 3 to the power z right here, 3 to the thumb power right here. So one only case that this equation works is when 3 to the power z equal to equal to 3 cube. Okay, let's go next. We have this parenthesis equal to 31, so let's try to simplify that further. We have 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z plus 1 equal to 31. Of course, we can bring it on the right hand side. So we have our, our equation 3 to the power x minus z plus 3 to the power y minus z equal to equal to 30. So the z will z we already know. We need to find our x and y. We have it. We have it right here. But right now I want to show you we need to factor 3 to the power y minus z. So let's factor these, these elements right here. So if we factor in it, we have 3 to the power y minus z, and in parentheses we have 3 to the power x minus z, I write it in parentheses, just want you to understand, and we subtract y minus z, because we factor in it, and plus 1, equal to 3 times 10. I want to write it as 3 times 10, because we have 30. Let's simplify this a little bit, we have 3 to the power y minus z, in this parentheses what we will have, x minus z minus y minus z. It will be really easy, z we can cancel, x minus y, and plus 1, equal to 3 times 10. And take a look closely to this. We have the same situation right here, we have 3, we have 3, and right here we have 3, and we have 3 right here, but in the first power, so we can easily write an equation that y minus z equal to 1. And if y minus z equal to 1, y minus z equal to 1, z equal to 3, so from here y minus 3 equal to 1, so y equal to equal to 4. And as you can see we find our, our next root. Okay, let's go further. We still have this parentheses equal to 10, because this we can cancel. Well, not like cancel, we just find this root and we don't need this anymore. 3 to the power x minus y, we have 3 to the power x minus y plus 1 equal to equal to 10, real quick equation, 3 to the power x minus y equal to 9, this is 3 square, we all know it, so we have that x minus y equal to 2, x minus y equal to 2, 
y equal to 4, so x equal to x equal to 6. So as you can see, we find our x and we find all our all our variables. But what about a, what about a solution? Because our pairs of solution x, y, z, we write that this will be equal to 6, 4, 3. If our supposition is, is good, x is greater than z, y and y is greater or equal than z. But as you can see right now, it cannot be like only this, only this solution. We need to combine all these solutions, but let's write our final answer with all of these combination. We have x, y, z, and we need to write all our combination. Let's start with the first one. We have 6, 4, 3. That in the beginning. What combination we have more? We have 6, 3, 4, and we have 4, 6, 3. So this is the first row of solution. And the next, if we go with this one, we have 4, 3, 6, and we have 3, 6, 4, and the last one, 3, 4, 6. Why we need all of this combination? Because as you can see here, we have all the same base, so it doesn't matter if we add 3 to the 5th to 3 to the 4th, 4th or 3 to the 4th to 3 to the 5th, doesn't matter with it, we are only need all solution. So this is like general solution, but if we're talking about all combination, this is our other solution that we need right now. So I want to mention one real interesting trick. Firstly, we factor in 3 to the z. We find our z real quick with this 3 cube equal to 3 to the z. Secondly, we factor in with the y because we need it right now. And as you can see, we factor on the right, this element on the right, right here, this element on the right, we need one right here. So this is the main trick. And I hope you understand this explanation. If you don't understand, write your question in comment. It will be really to read it. And of course, thank you for your for your support, for for your likes, for your comment. I really appreciate it. And it helps me a lot to make a new video. I try to make content every day, so it it helps me a lot. It inspires me a lot to make new videos every day. And of course, for me it's really important because I I love math and I wanted to share with you with different problems. I have a lot of a lot of problems in the future. So if you're interested to in this, if you're enjoying this, of course it's really important for me. And yeah, that's how it is. So thank you so much for watching, for your likes, for your comments. I really appreciate it. And of course love math. Take care of yourself and have a great day. Thank you for watching.